Paprika background, and this is everything I eat in a day. Well, usually I get woken up by one of my kids and I just eat whatever's left over off their plates because I'm making them breakfasts for them to go to school. So if somebody asks for toast with butter and jam and they don't finish it, I'll eat the rest of that. I'm usually packing lunch or scrambling to get them ready and I will just sort of pick at whatever. If I'm making myself breakfast, if it's like a weekend and there's a little bit more time, I'm a really big fan of eggs over easy and toast and coffee. If I were to have anything that I wanted, I, I mean, I love breakfast. It is my favorite meal of the day. So I make a mean oatmeal. I just love it. I make it with butter, with salt, coconut milk sometimes, and just like really zhuzh it up with coconut flakes, maple syrup, berries, cinnamon, whatever's around. I love that on a cold, cold day. I really love a simple, you know, if I've baked bread, then just like a nice warm bread with butter is heavenly with a cup of coffee. I have this love-hate relationship with coffee. I love the smell of it, I love the taste of it, but I'm very sensitive to caffeine and the kind of buzz that I get from coffee is all, not often good for me. So I often have coffee, but I try to have black tea. Good old fashioned Earl Grey or PG Tips uh, with a splash of milk in it. Usually for lunch, I'll have whatever's left over. We cook dinner a lot here at the house. There'll typically be some things that are left over from like a night or two ago. So it'll be anything from like a chickpea curry and rice, some leftover turkey meatballs, and I will try to have it with greens. Uh, if I'm on the go, I'll have a green juice, a smoothie, a salad that I've ordered somewhere and I eat kind of running down the streets of New York City, which is, just doesn't make for a very good digestive uh, situation. And I like, you know, if I'm making a salad, I really love, you know, a simple arugula salad with anything in it. It could be whatever was in the fridge. Like if there was stir fry, I'll stick it on a salad and I'll just put some lemon, coarse salt and olive oil. And that'll be my lunch. I'm not a huge snacker. I often don't have time. I'm often moving from meetings, either doing that and picking kids from, up from school and planning the day. And I will like maybe grab an apple or forget completely to eat something and realize I'm starving. Or if I'm at work, I try desperately not to snack on all the crap that's around on set. There's a lot of unhealthy things, chips and things. And, and if I'm on set, you know, the day is very, very, very long. And I try to eat mostly carb-free, try to keep my protein intake high so I have more energy. I get very sleepy if I have a ton of carbs. I'll try to snack on fruit or nuts. A typical dinner, I use the New York Times cooking app a lot and just see if there are, you know, relatively easy but interesting meals to be made. We'll buy the ingredients for the week and then dinner is often cooked by me or by my amazing nanny who is able to keep up with all our demands. I get bored quite easily of having the same thing a lot, so I am always looking for new interesting dishes. A typical dish is probably like some sort of braised chicken with olives or an interesting sauce and, or spices. I'm a fan of a rub that you can just put on whatever protein you're having and stick it in the fridge and then you just pull it out and air fryer is my friend. Stick it in the air fryer, cut the sweet potato fries up, done, dinner. I am definitely somebody who gets hangry. I tend to eat smaller meals and when I forget to refuel, I get really tired and really irritable and I don't know why and it happens almost daily. My favorite meal to cook it's something that doesn't require a lot of your attention, like a lot of steps and a lot of like looking at a recipe. I love cooking mukeka, which is a Brazilian seafood stew. I know that by heart, so I can put all the ingredients and things together. I love cooking osobuco. I love making like a slow cook osobuco in the oven, drown it in a bottle of wine, and just let it simmer in there for five, six hours. I enjoy cooking meals that are not labor intensive, but take a long time so the flavors really melt, but you're not actively cooking it the entire time. My beverage choice at dinner these days is sparkling water, but if I'm feeling like a drink, my go-to is a glass of red wine. And then my other go-to is a martini. And I like them bone dry with an olive or a cocktail onion. I will do either a Gibson, which is gin or a vodka. When I'm feeling naughty, little late night snacking is in order. My favorite is a bar of like really good chocolate. So if I'm having wine, I love a little bit of chocolate with my wine late at night. I'm not a fan of dark chocolate. I know, it's shocking, but milk chocolate with hazelnuts, I would say is my absolute favorite. What is my favorite food city? Anywhere in Italy, probably, but truly New York, 
I would say New York. It has absolutely every cuisine you could ever want and sometimes in one neighborhood. And this is everything I eat in one day. Please be sure to check out The Endgame on NBC, premieres February 21st.